Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to do another game review today. The game today is Run Saber for the Super Nintendo. It's, like always, an unheard of game, which some people should play. It's a fun two-player game, but still, one player is pretty good. Let's see how that looks. It's not too bad looking. It's made by Atlas, which, personally, I, I like a lot of stuff they make. I mean, it's not my favorite company or anything, but still. You can either pick from some dude or some chick. They both look pretty much the same, pixely wise. Uh, from what I remember, the dude has like a longer range, and the chick has like more up and down range. I'll go with the dude because I haven't played this game in so long. And from what I remember, you have normal sword attack. Uh, if you press up, you have like some screw attack kind of thing. If you press down, you have some kick. And you can also, like, slide, which isn't too good because it leaves you wide open. Oh, you also have some special, which is pretty good for bosses, but just to show you what the hell it is. You can run, and, uh, I think that's about it when it comes to your attacks. You can also get up an upgrade for your sword, which makes it longer. Hey, there it is. Oh, it makes me talk. Kind of sounds like Zero from, uh... X4. Now, this game kind of reminds me of a Contra with a sword, just only a little easier. I mean, that's actually pretty cool if it's like Contra. You can also grab onto the wall, which is kind of good, but kind of annoying, because it's so easy to grab it. You'll be doing it accidentally all the time. Yeah, for some reason, you can attack quicker when you're jumping, which is why I normally jump and attack all the time. Uh, I think that was like a, another dragon thing. Yeah, slowly working my way across this level. Uh, let's try that screw attack attack. Yeah, kick that ass. From what I remember, you also fight like a few mini bosses, which also makes this game look a lot like Contra. Also, a lot of the bosses are huge and weird, like, uh, like in Contra. <laughs> I like how quick this guy runs, though. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this thing? Is that a canister? Ah. Alright, let's use this dragon thing. Yeah, when you die, you get, like, two dragon things back, so... It's, pre it's actually a pretty good idea to use them before you die. Because if you're going to get him back, you might as well get the free hits on a boss. Whenever you beat a boss, the music just randomly says, Run Saber. It's, it's almost impossible, well, not impossible, it's hard as hell to actually understand it. My friend actually pointed that out, and it's like, oh shit, they do say Run Saber. Just climbing the walls. One problem with this game, though, is it is, like, ridiculously short. I think it's only five, maybe six levels. And I'm sorry that I'm sucking. I, ha I actually haven't played this game in like three months. Right. I'm just gonna be lazy and knock out the boss like that. I think I'm at the main boss now. Yeah, I'm at the main boss. It's some weird plane which. I, I don't know. I'm sure there's some stupid story behind this game, but who honestly cares? Alright. How did the plane just do that? It just got off the ground. There'd be no chance in hell that it would have enough air to actually... Uh, I, I guess I'm thinking a little too deep into that. Actually, I never thought about that. How, how the fuck did it do that turn? It was like two feet off the ground. It would have crashed. What the fuck am I even fighting? It's like some giant brain with a metal mask or something. I do like how the plane is turning, though. That's kind of cool, and I beat it. Look at that realistic plane just fly away. How did my guy jump off of it? I mean, aren't we, like, in the air? He did... Uh. Uh. Well, basically, that's Run Saber. 
at least the first level of it. Um, uh, it's a lot funner if you have two people to play, but no one's home right now, so. Eh. But it's a, it's pretty fun and unheard of. I mean, it's cheap like all the other unheard of games. It's like two bucks on eBay. It's pretty fun, but it is ridiculously short, so I'd recommend it, but, eh, thanks for watching, uh, see you guys later.